Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 15 of Book 5. In this proposition, we have two lines, AB and DE, which are equal multiples of two other lines, C and F. In other words, AB is equal to some integer times C, and DE is equal to the same integer times F. And this proposition states that if we have this condition, then AB to DE will be equal to the ratio of C to F. So starting with our initial conditions, AB and DE are equal multiples of C and F respectively. Let's take the line AG, AB and divide it into AG, GH, and HB, where each one of these parts is equal to the magnitude C. And we will do the same with the length DE. We divide it into equal magnitudes, DK, KL, and LE, where each one of these parts is equal to F. Of course, we can do this because AB and DE are equal multiples of C and F. Since AG is equal to GH is equal to HB, and DK is equal to KL equals to LE. According to Proposition 7, if these are all equal, then AG to DK will be equal to GH to KL, which will be equal to HB to LE. So we have that all three ratios are equal. AG to DK, GH to KL, HB to LE. These ratios are all equal. Now, according to Proposition 12, if we have a bunch of equal ratios, if we add up all the, get this right, all the antecedents, A, G, G, H, and H, B, and we add up all the consequents, D, K, K, L, and L, E, and form a new ratio, it will be equal to the first. So, in other words, A, G to D, K would be equal to the ratio of the sum of AG, GH, HB to the sum of DK, KL, and LE. But the sum of AG, GH, and HB is just AB, and likewise we get DE. So in other words, AG to DK is equal to AB to DE. AG, DK is equal to AB to DE. However, AG is equal to C, and DK is equal to F. So we know that AG to DK is also equal to C to F. So we substitute C to F in our equation, and we have that C to F is equal to A to B to D to E. Sorry, let me restate that. C to F is equal to AB to DE. So there we have shown we have our initial conditions A and B, A, B, D, E are equal multiples of C and F respectively, which gives us that the ratio of C to F is also equal to A to B to D, E. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.